All right, so the dominoes keep falling. So we're. I said I wasn't going to make any predictions. Well, I guess I'm going to make a prediction. So if you watch my last two videos, this is a perfect fit for that. So I had to do another video today because it was just too perfect. So we got Ice Spice playing the role of Red Hot Riding Hood. In the year 2023. Oh man, how do I... Okay, there we go. So, Red Hot Riding Hood is the character from the cartoon of The Wolf by Tex Avery. So, when... And it's, of course, it has the military connection because what was I saying in the last video? I said the military knows all this stuff and then when Pavlov's... When Pavlov does the experiment for Pavlov's dog and finds out about the salivation and the hot wiring and the conditioning, that's not when they discover that part of the brain. The military already knew that, but they just didn't tell you in the public. So they wait for someone like Pavlov, who's not even a psychologist, to come along and then he figures something like that out. So, Red Hot Riding Hood in, so, it's 1943 when they came out with this um, character, The Wolf, by Tex Avery. Well, at least I seen in the video I watched, it said 1943. So, she's basically, the character of Red Hot Riding Hood is a... The, the USO tour, like where they do the USO tour, she's the singer for that. So when they introduce her, should they say the Navy baby, um, and then they call her the Army something, and the, the Marine Queen or something like that. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. So they call her the Marine Queen, and then Ice Spice is making this song right now, Princess Diana. So Princess Diana is a queen and um, Red Hot Riding Hood is the marine queen. So the so unfortunately the prediction would be that Ice Spice may have a really monster year as far as recognition even though she's already at that level or this quite possibly may be her last year alive. So she may die this year. She may die next year as a um, eclipse code sacrifice. I don't like to say that about anybody, but um, that's just what I'm seeing with the information. So more likely she's going to have a big year. But if you look at the Marines, their symbolism is a bulldog, which is the symbolism of a sacrifice. So she could die in a car crash. She could have a big year this year. She could be the hottest name in the rap industry, right? Since her name is the number 69, she could eat, she could be the Eclipse Code sacrifice. Um, 69 is a referencing to possibly um, bisexual activity and stuff like that. So... All this came out because I found, because I got, I resigned from my job. <laughs> so, no, all this came out because of this passage up top. <laughs> it says, here's the, and this is, uh, these are lyrics from the Red Hot Riding Hood song. The Marine Queen. She says, here's an amazing revelation with a bit of stimulation. So I thought that was just jaw-dropping information because I was talking about the stimuli, that money as a stimuli, right? These uh, Pavlov's dog and the connection to stimuli. So there's your psychological connection right there for your psychological warfare. 
and it's I'm like, wow, they actually used and I would have never known that. But on YouTube, when they're showing the clip, because all I all I did is I wanted to watch the wolf some clips of him because I was like, man, I haven't seen that wolf cartoon character for a long time. Let me go check it out. And the the Navy baby came on the screen and I was like just kind of watching it for a while and then i seen it said the word stimulation in the lyrics because it was it was putting the lyrics on the bottom of the screen i go what the fuck i go that's exactly what i was saying so then if you watch the clips it's exactly what i said she gets dressed as the um the working woman after the war and she goes off to work and that's exactly what i was saying i go the monster high dolls they're not dressed as a 40 hour nine to five worker and she went from exactly... And then the same with this Ice Spice doll, right? I go, look at this fucking Ice Spice doll. It looks like a fucking Monster High or a Bratz doll or an LOL doll. And then I even said in that video, I go, with the Monster High dolls, I go, they got like tattoos, basically. I didn't really say it clear, but that's what I meant. What I was saying, I go, they got like tattoos. all. They got these little hearts on their skin and stuff, like trying to encourage young girls to get tattoos. So... In the in this Princess Diana song, or whatever song it was, they have they're showing the 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 doll character who's also wearing the high heels, the long eyelashes, and all everything, the dyed hair, everything I said, and I had no idea that this video was out. So they show the doll dancing, and the lyrics are written on her skin, like kind of like just a bunch of tattoos. I go, that's fucking everything I just said. So that was a trip. But anyway, so this is how this came out of that. So here's an amazing race revelation with a bit of stimulation. I'll be your great sensation. So a stimulation is a sensation, right? So we're talking words of, of uh, like of the nervous system of the human anatomy, right? S sensations and stimulation. I'll even be your little consolation. So that's interesting because that's the astrology, right? Well, now that I'm thinking because Ice Spice, not only does she equal 48, but her name also equals 69, which is that Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper connection with the rotation of the stars in the sky. So there's another connection because I'm just reading this live as I do this. So the consolation referencing to the Navy baby, right? Traveling maritime law traveling by navigating by the stars astrology the eclipse code referencing the 69 referencing um so this song by the uh red hot riding hood or whatever her name is it's called oh daddy so i wouldn't be surprised if that has some sort of connection with Ice Spice too. The name of that song, uh, "Daddy, You Got to Get the Very Best for Me." So it's the it's exactly what I said. It's it's the eye candy, but you got to pay for it, right? So we're in the year twenty twenty three, and I didn't mention this earlier. And I said, "Oh well, I'll leave it off, and I'll let other people check it out." But now I'm gonna have to mention it because why would I? That's not a big prediction that Ice. Spice is going to have a big year. While it it would be, it's bigger because we're in the year 2023 and 223 is the 48th prime number because 223 is very similar to 2023, right? It's not the same as 2023 because there's a zero in there. But come on, you get the connection, right? But it's important because I spice her name if you spell it in the in the translating it to the um the numerology or whatever you want to call it the gematria, her name equals forty eight. So two two three has the connection with forty eight because two two three is the forty eighth prime number and we're in this big year twenty twenty three. So everything's all set up for her to either perish or have a big year but we already see that she's gonna have a big year so it's not predicting much but i still wanted to do the video because it fits so well with everything even heard the fact that what was this four or five this video's been out for only like 10 days i don't even know anything about this um puppet this artist um 
but I just everything was perfect to what I said. So what I said in the last two videos, I never knew that I Spice did this. I didn't know that she just released some more music. Yes, I know that everybody's talking about her, and yes, it's obvious that she's gonna have a big year. So I started looking at some I Spice stuff because when I looked at the Red Hot Riding Hood. After I seen the Red Hot Riding Hood mention stimulation and the great sensation and stuff like that, I said, that's crazy. I go, I just said that. So I actually started looking for something else. And when I looked at the Red Hot Riding Hood, I go, you know what? She looks a lot like Ice Spice. That's the first thing I thought. So that's where my Ice Spice connection came in because they have that red curly hair. And I go, that looks like fucking that Ice Spice fucking chick. And uh, it all fell together after that, so... Anyways, the last thing I'll say is that I, I was started watching Ice Spice stuff. And she's like dancing on the stage and like lip syncing. Like she's not even, she's at a concert. And I don't know how often they do this, but I'm like, she can't even live sing her own lyrics because she's the the lack of, I guess I would say the lack of talent, right? The sexualities there and stuff. Um, and yes, she could sing the songs, but it was interesting to see her dancing on stage. And then when she pulled the mic up and started singing, she wasn't even singing. It was clear. Like, you could tell when a voice is edited, right, for the mastering of the track or if somebody's doing it live. And she clear it clearly wasn't her live voice. So I think at this point that, and that's kind of the scary thing is when she's playing, she's, she's playing with fire and ice, right? She's playing with fire, red, hot, spicy fire and ice is when she's, she lacks the talent because then that makes you wonder when are they, um, how soon will these people perish? Because you look at someone like Nipsey Hussle and Pop Smoke and they're a dime a dozen rappers, right? And you you could see... So the thing is, you can pull anybody off their fucking couch and make them a rap star, right? So, um, it's just they, they're playing with the fire and ice. They're playing with the fire and ice. All right. Hopefully she doesn't die, but there you have it.